application sound. So again, we go inside of sound and on the very top, here we go. To the NFL score chime. Yeah. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel of Jimmy is Promo. Today I'm gonna to show you how you're able to set up and create custom notification sounds on your Galaxy Note 10 and the Note 10 Plus. Now, if you are brand new here at the channel of Jimmy is Promo and you own a Samsung Galaxy device, don't forget to hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications so you get notified for future videos. And don't forget about that playlist tab on the very top to check out all the videos I've made so far for the Galaxy Note 10 and the Note 10 Plus. Now setting up custom ringtones is a little bit easier to do than setting up custom notification sounds. And what I mean by that is let's say that we go inside the very top, we click on settings and underneath sounds and vibrations. Let's say that you go to the ringtone and over here you have a plus icon. This plus icon means it can pull things from what you've already downloaded. So if you have music on your phone, if you have sounds on your phone, uh, you're able to set it up pretty quick and easy. And you can either do it from the beginning or the highlighted portion of that song or track. Now also the other thing you are able to do is download applications, maybe like Zedge, or you do download the application of Zedge. But the reason why I don't use applications to set up my notification sounds or ringtones or backgrounds for even that purpose too, is anything that's inside of here. Let's say that we go to this one here and you set it up through the application. What's happening is you don't have that physical file on your phone. And if your phone updates or anything like that, then maybe this application is not formatted for Android 10 or Android 11. And now you kind of corrupted your phone with a little file and it'll cause a whole bunch of issues. So for me, what I do is if I find one, let's say off of Zedge on the top right hand side, I download the physical file to my phone and then move it from the My Files of Zedge into like download or music or something like that. But here in this video, I'm gonna show you how you're able to set up custom notification sounds rather than doing it from an app like this, just because there is reasons behind it for which I just kind of explained. So how about we head inside of text messaging and let's just go to a particular person because maybe you wanted to set up a custom notification sound for someone in particular. Uh, and instead of just everybody having the same notification sound or or, you know, notification sounds differently from a person texting you to you getting a email. So a lot of these are just kind of boring. You've probably played and checked out a lot of these, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to add one in right around here and it's called like boom, boom, shakalaka or something. Uh, and then maybe like an NFL sound or Sunday night football or something like that. So you can see how both of those is not sitting here. Now, this is what you're able to do for those steps. If you go inside of your uh, Samsung folder right here, if you already have these sounds or MP3 set up, go inside of my files. And then inside of my files, what you would like to do is you wanna find where that sound is. So if you downloaded it from Zedge, it'll be inside of here underneath notification sounds and they could be downloaded. Uh, but the two that I would like to move is actually gonna be inside of the download folder. So inside of download, here's that boom, boom chick. <laughs> uh, and then over here, let's go down to this NFL score chime. And so I'm going to move these over into the correct folder. So this is what is actually doing it. Once you move it over into the folder called notifications. Now, if for some reason you don't have a folder called notifications, uh, which you should, just make sure you're underneath the internal storage, make a new folder called notifications with a capital N and then just move it right here. But I'm pretty sure you will have notifications right there. There's no reason why not to. So here we go. We added in boom, boom, chick and the NFL score. Now let's head back over inside um, of uh, the folder right here for changing somebody's uh, notification sound. So again, we go inside of sound and on the very top, here we go. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And then right over here, let's scroll on down to the NFL score chime. Yeah, so you can use this one for if you get a text message or if you get a email or whatever. So maybe with this one, uh, put it down for email in Facebook and Snapchat. Uh, and then, you know, or you can set it up for if somebody texts you a lot. But it's one of those cool things that you can do to hear all day since we are inside of the NFL season. So for Bentley, I'm going to do this one. <laughs> There we go. And that is how you set up a custom notification sound. And again, you know, you might be asking yourself or you might be writing a comment below the video. Hey, man, I'm just going to use Zedge. 
hey, that's perfectly fine with me. You can go for it. You do you, whatever's easier for you. But again, the reason why is because sometimes when people update their phones or you change an Android operating system of some sort, any type of an upgrade, uh, these applications might not be updated for that update. So that's where you'd run into issues and problems and corrupted files and stuff like that. And I like to stay clear of that. And that's why I'm able to download really anything. So if you downloaded music, MP3s, if you went through Zedge like I did, uh, and you actually downloaded the physical file again, you have to go inside of any of those sounds. Man, these ads are annoying. Go inside of the top right hand side and click on download. Once it's downloaded, now you're good to go and you have really any song you want and you have zero issues if there was to be an update with your phone. So with all of that out of the way, we set up any of our custom notification sounds for each particular person. Now I'm gonna go through the normal sounds for all of the notification sounds. So if I was to get you know a uh, email or something like that, now we got the NFL score chime. And there we go, guys. We have everything all set up for custom notification sounds. I hope that you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit on subscribe. You subscribe right over here at the very bottom left-hand side. Share this video with your friends and family and social media sites. And other than that, I'll see you guys later.